You know, I've met a lot of people in this industry, but no one is as zany as Doug Tenaple. So let's catch a lift on Mr. Tenaple's wild ride as he takes us on a tour of his somewhat unbalanced studio. Hi, I'm Doug Tenaple, and we're showing you a bunch of animated techniques we used on the Neverhood and our brand new game called Skull Monkeys. I am the king of all skull monkeys. This is my desk, and I keep it a mess, thank you, because my mom doesn't work here with me. This is uh, one of the skull monkey puppets, and we have real human hair on them. Many humans gave their lives so that this monkey might come to be. This is one of the heroes, one of our little claimonites, and he has a wire armature, and these are painstakingly sculpted uh, across a period of about two months. They each cost about 15 grand to sculpt. I'm gonna set him down over here. This shows how poseable he is. Yeah, you sit on the couch there. Okay. What's that guy? This is one of our other puppets. His name is the Weasel. Hey, Doug. Oh, hey, Tom. How's it going, man? Tommy, get, hey. get up. Hey, what? What's look, up? look. What? What? Come on. I'm going to show you some of the programmers. Follow me. This is Kenton. And he's one of our big, uh, one of our heavy programmers. He weighs about 400 pounds. This is Mark Lorenzen. He's the original creator of Vector Man. This is Joe. He's one of our game designers. And he used to run a 7-Eleven. <laughs> no, Joe is actually the first human we've ever put in a video game. We photographed his head as one of the bosses called Joe Head Joe. And uh, he designed some of the puzzles. Ow! He designed the puzzles that claim and actually has to traverse to the game. This is our game, a uh, rough version of it anyways, to test. And uh, you see claim and he butt bounces these evil skull monkeys. They're monkeys with human skulls for heads. We, uh, we pull from toys. This is our toy box. We steal these toys and nail them to wood and cover them in clay. And you get these cool abstract shapes. Tommy, what do I say about touching things? That's a no. This is Monk Rushmore. This is our uh, tribute to all the great uh, dead Skull Monkey presidents. This is our whiteboard where we keep all of our ideas and organization, as you can see. Hardly any ideas and hardly any organization here at all. This is Mike Dietz. Mike is the, uh, the, the lead animator. Uh, he was also the animator on Earthworm Jim 1 and 2, and Aladdin, and Global Gladiators, and Cool Spot and many others to name a couple others. This is Chuck Norris. Chuck is inventing uh, time travel. He's invented this coding way of going through time. It's really amazing. Tommy, get your pants back on. Fat Lou gets all pissed off. He'll come over and punch you out. Sorry, Fat Lou. Lou, show your tattoos you got in prison. Doug's mom did all the work. <laughs> This is our pet scorpion that Lou here is going to handle. Okay, if I touch his pincher, will I be a man? No! Yeah. 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 And she does cool things when you put uh, fluorescent light on her, she glows. See that? Yeah. Is that boss or what? Lewis is in charge of our actual game test department, and he tells all of the people on the team when they're doing something wrong which is like every second of the day. Awesome. What's the big bug? Uh, come out to the warehouse, because there's some cool stuff to see out here. It's cool visuals. Tommy, bring your guitar here. It's better acoustics. Let me show you some of the other puppets and characters that are here at the Neverhood. This is one of the big monsters. Come around here, there's a little bit more light. There. This guy's one of the, the main bad guys, and this shows how we can move him one frame at a time. Open and close the mouth. This is one of the evil skull monkeys that chases claiming around the planet. <sighs> one frame at a time, you're in hell. This is the probably the most valuable player on the entire team, the Makita Drill. This is the cool uh, crystal wand 
that we all have, uh, we worship every day. This is kind of our little cult we have going here. We stockpile firearms upstairs. Um, and it's all for the great wand. It's whatever it wants us to do. Whatever it wands us to do. That was nice. Uh, this is the chip butty, which our English friends will appreciate, the french fry sandwich. Um, only the English could come up with something as wonderful of a recipe as the chip butty, the french fry sandwich. Fine cuisine over there, I understand. This house is kind of broken out in sores, which happens if you take a chip buddy and like rub it all over your face. The next day you get some of this effect. This is the evil wizard. All this little garment blows in the breeze in the game. Another cool puppet. This is El Barfo, the monkey that throws himself up inside out. This is Clayman in a little ship. He's all clay, his little hair moves. This is what the Eats skeleton looks like. This is the armature that goes underneath the clay. You can move it a little bit, and they're all metal, ball and socket, and covered in clay. This is Headless Willie. He's a crazy man. Crazy. Has no head, has no hands either. Because they say that he bit his own hands off right before he bit his own head off. Crazy. And this is how we let the little people out of our head. Crazy. Oh, cool. Look, it's Earthworm. Yeah, man, it's, it's careful. It's so cool. Look at this thing. I'm sorry, we'll just, we'll put some kind of, jeez, this will be okay, we're just gonna put it, like, that's it, kind of, get out, hey, you're going out, but wait, no, no, I don't think so, here, oh, that's, hey, Doug, Doug, well, I'll see you later, Doug, you come back and I'll call the cops.